A long time ago, I found a little baby monkey on the side of the street. His mother was nowhere around, so I decided to take him home with me. We were really poor, so to feed him, I had to starve myself. But he kept growing bigger and bigger, which meant he needed more and more food. I was getting so thin, I was close to death, and my mom forced me to let him go. I was crying as I opened the door, and he ran outside. I felt like I had lost a good friend. But after a few hours, I heard a knock at the door. So, I opened it up, and there was my monkey friend again. He was holding four bananas and gave one to me, one to my sister, and one to my mom. Of course, we thanked the monkey and told him to go get more bananas. But this time, he came back with one papaya and one mango. We figured he must have stolen them from the market. Well, this went on for several weeks. But one day, he came back with a little gold necklace. It was beautiful. So the next day, I gave it to a girl in my class named Ananya. She was even poorer than we were. Her mother had died, so she had to work as a maid for my evil classmate Champak after going to school all day. Champak treated her like a servant. He made her carry his books everywhere. And he loved barking orders at her in front of the whole class. I put the necklace around her neck, and she looked so beautiful. She gave me a kiss on my cheek and said, Thank you. But the next day, she came back crying. She said Champak took the necklace from her and accused her of stealing it. He was really mean to her about it and punished her by making her scrub his room with a toothbrush. I wanted to fight Champak. I wanted to end him. But he was as strong as a grown man. Besides that, his father was powerful and could easily take revenge on my mom and sister. He could have done terrible things to them. I was devastated and went home feeling helpless. But then I saw my monkey bring us more bananas, and that gave me an idea. I'd train him to steal from Champak's home. Maybe he'd even find some valuable stuff to bring me. To train him, I hid a fake golden wristband around our house. Anytime he found it, I rewarded him with a little bit of chocolate. Once the monkey was well trained, I took him to Champak's place. There was a huge wall around it. But that was no problem, because my monkey friend could climb it easily. He jumped from the wall onto the house and went in through a window. I didn't see the monkey for several minutes, and then I heard a scream coming from inside the house. I was getting nervous, but then my monkey came back climbing down the wall, and he was carrying a gold necklace with a beautiful stone. He gave it to me, and I stashed it in my pocket. I started running toward home, but my stupid monkey went back inside Champak's house. While I got home safely, my monkey didn't make it. The next day, I went back to Champak's house to look for my friend. There, I saw a poster. It said, If you want this monkey, give us back our jewelry. That monkey had been my friend. I loved him very much, and I hated to lose him. But the jewelry he'd given me was worth enough to get Ananya away from Champak's family. So, my mom and I went to another city to sell the necklace safely. We took the best offer and came home with 60,000 US dollars. That's a huge amount of money in my country. It was enough that my mom and I could buy a small house. We invited Ananya to live with us for free, and she seems a lot happier since she became a part of our family. At last, I want to thank my monkey friend. Thanks to him, we can live a comfortable life.